and lick up the dust of thy feet. Blessings, blessings, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Word Unfiltered, where there's no filters, no chasers to the Word of God. I don't take from it. I don't add to it. He has already perfected it enough. Okay, so I have a... Uh, this this video is kind of gut-wrenching, okay? Um, if some of you don't know, there is... I call it a movement because it's truly something that I not too long ago just started hearing about um and it is the hebrew israelites and some people call themselves the black hebrew israelites some people just say the hebrew israelites where they believe that african americans excuse me blacks are the true hebrews they're the true jews they are the chosen people they are the children of israel we are um well, I hate to say we because I'm a whole bunch of mixture of stuff. So I wonder if only part of me is chosen and the other parts and not so much. <laughs> I also believe that Caucasians um, are the Edomites. And some of them believe that they do have a chance to make it into heaven only if they serve. Okay. Only if they serve black people and then we have others that believe that there is no salvation for caucasians okay totally i mean it's crazy um crazy to me jesus came and died for the whole world not one race not one nation not just for the whole world if you believe in him okay you should not perish but have everlasting life he did not specify a race, a skin color. To me, it is a form of pride <laughs> and it is like making yourself higher than you ought to make yourself. And in this video right here, because we're going to get on into it, in this video right here, it, it shows like there is some pride going on, but it's gut-wrenching with how, y'all, let's just, let's just watch, watch this video. Sorry for what happened to so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Uh, you know what my last name is? I'm asking. Same no. thing. That's fine. But I'm asking. Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. I do. So I would you happened. be willing to apologize? Would I be willing? I'm willing to apologize. Give me Isaiah 49 and verse 23. Huh? I'd be more than willing to apologize. We're about to see right now. I want to see about And the reason he, the Caucasian guy, which I'm guessing he's mixed with stuff too because his last name is Sanchez which he was pointing out because the the Hebrew Israelite was like, do you know what happened to blacks and Hispanics and stuff? And he's like, my last name is Sanchez because you just go on skin color. You don't know what the true nationality of this man is. You really, unless there's some DNA testing going on, you don't know what the nation, what you are. You'd be surprised what you're mixed with, okay? You'll be surprised, okay? Like, people look at me automatically assume, oh, she's black. Some people, they'll look a little deeper because they see my features or they look at hair and all this stuff. And they're like, yeah, we know you're mixed with something. But you can't specify what you're mixed with just by looking at somebody's skin color. And this man is telling you, my last name is Sanchez, which is a Hispanic name. Um, So, yeah. But then he asking him to apologize. Like, for what? He didn't own... Um, any slaves or anything like I don't and then he pulls up the Bible so let's see what scripture what he's gonna what he's gonna say I'm interracial I got five it's interracial grandkids I got four, four, four grandkids he's interracial he don't care and kings shall be thy nursing fathers mm -hmm. and their queens thy nursing mothers right. they shall bow down to the to, they shall bow to thee with their faces towards the earth so would you be willing to bow down with your face towards the earth? Right yeah, I see that. I do that anytime. So let's go. Well, you think I won't? Do it. I ain't gonna get stopped, am I? No. No. <laughs> All right. I'm an honest man. I'm just saying, like you know. Like this you is see, crazy. You see something like that happen. I bow down. Go ahead. I wish he wouldn't have bowed down. You don't bow down to nobody, but Jesus Christ. You don't bow down to no human being okay i wish he would have never did this i would have just walked away like what <sighs> yeah this makes me want to <laughs> no it doesn't but <laughs> in the spirit because it gives 
Christians, other true believers who don't don't preach this type of stuff, but we evangelize with love and God's grace, his mercy, his even his chastisement, okay? But we do it in different ways. The Bible says, with love have I drawn thee. This is not love. This is pride. You just want this man who appears to be Caucasian to bow down to you. And he's telling you, I'm not full. I'm not Caucasian. Just because you see my skin color. Like my last name, Sanchez. I have Hispanic grandkids. Grandkids from his bloodline. Now keep reading. Fine. And lick up the dust of thy feet. Say it again. And lick up the dust of thy feet. No, exactly. That's why you wanted to sleep. That's right. That's right. I won't be willing to kiss your boot. Did you hear that? Are you willing to kiss my boot right now? The guy said no. Which y'all watching this, I was like, he better not kiss this man boot. And he gonna tell him that's why you're going into slavery. Like, hell is your portion. I'm sorry. This is not okay. This is not okay. This is, there's no, y'all, they mistranslate the word or misinterpret the word, cherry pick the scriptures to fit their narrative. This is ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous. And I could go deeper into this where they think the Caucasians are the Gentiles, but we know that Jesus Christ, he came and he saved the Gentiles, the Jews, the Greeks, everybody can have salvation. It is free. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter your nationality, okay? Everybody has the opportunity of salvation. Um, I won't get that deep into it because it's a lot, okay? It's a lot <laughs> with these these people. But I would be willing to shake your hand. Read, read that again. Read that again. Uh, Come on, from the top. Yep. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, uh -huh. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Uh -huh. They shall bow down with their face toward the earth. They shall bow down with their face toward the earth. Yes. You did, right? But there's more to it. Read on. And lick up the dust of thy feet. And here's the thing. A lot of you say that I'm sorry and I apologize for what A lot of you. They didn't do it. They didn't do it, okay? <laughs> it probably was some of your ancestors that did it, okay? Probably some of your people that did it. Blacks sold blacks into slavery okay and then because you don't really know what was fully in you it's some of your ancestors that probably owned some slaves as well this is the craziest thing i've ever seen in my life and that's why when i have been approached now i know i know one okay i'm gonna say one because i know quite a few of them there but there is one who he don't believe in all this stuff like causing telling the the, the caucasians to lick your boots and he don't do all this okay um, but this right here is misrepresenting all people who call themselves followers of Christ. Okay. I hate to say Christians because a lot of them don't believe in Christianity, which Christian is just, you're a follower of Christ. And sometimes I hate saying Christianity because it's such a broad umbrella, a broad spectrum and people like this misrepresent it. Okay. We read out the same Bible. But you use the Bible to, as a weapon or to cause people to worship you. And they should be worshiping God. They should be worshiping Jesus Christ, not worshiping the black man. This is crazy. I'm really sorry. Your spirit won't allow you to do that. Your spirit won't allow you to do that right, because of what my people Good. Finish, because of what my people have been through. Right. Kissing, kissing a boot or licking the dust up from my feet is nothing compared to the hundreds and thousands of years that my people have been enslaved here in America and they had to work for I understand that. Can, right. I, can I say something? Go ahead. I'm Irish. I so you think your boots deserve to get licked? Don't nobody, ain't nobody gonna lick your nasty boots. Jesus never asked for people to lick his boots. Okay? Never. And he was the Messiah. But he never. He was God in the flesh. Okay? The person of God. Never. Like, what gives you the right? Pride. But what does the Bible say about pride? Y'all let me know in the comments. What does the Bible say about pride? And that's what this is. That's what has taken over this world. It's the same thing that got Lucifer kicked out of heaven. Okay? It's the same thing from the beginning of time that caused all this sin to enter into the world. Pride.
All right, you know where I come from. And then Richard, I, I already know the story. You were you know a servant, but you were never treated unfairly like us. You didn't. Don't, you guys didn't hang. You guys didn't hang from trees in Fort Myers. No, we didn't hang from trees. I, I, I understand that. We so, hang from crosses. So when what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. Right, like he said, you don't know where I come from. Like what? When you look at us as a people, a lot of people claim us. When I look at Jesus, can as I finish people, my statement? Yeah. When I look at Jesus, can I finish my statement? Yeah. You interrupt me. So what I'm saying is, when you look at Ooh. us as a people, a lot of people think what they did to us, they just got away scot free. But this entire earth. What they did to us. They ain't do nothing to you. You sitting here with some free first of all free to speak in front of this i guess it's like a little shopping center or whatever dress nice hair freshly cut glasses got earrings in your ear like you look like you're doing well nobody did nothing to you okay you look like you're doing quite well for yourself like this this crazy false oppression be, be getting me like yeah, I need to seek Jesus in a real way. Because this is not this is not it. It's not the way you do it. This entire earth, all the people that are non-Israelite people have to pay for what you guys have done to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? So that's when I ask you, when you tell me you're sorry, this is how I see it. And he just told you. <laughs> His name is Sanchez. These people are crazy. I, I wish this man would have just walked away. I, I wish he wouldn't have bowed or anything. Just walk away. You're sorry. Your spirit is willing, willing to give your pride up. But you can't even do that. That's how I know you're not ashamed. I, I, if your spirit is really willing to give your pride up. <laughs> if that's not the pot call of the kettle black. If your spirit is willing to give your... You have the pride. You are the prideful one. You had this man bow down to you like you are god you had this man okay you asking this man to lick the dust off your boots okay like you what are you serious but he has pride i won't give my pride up because i didn't i had to bow down and i, I understand I had to bow and i won't do it i understand that don't do okay. it you I'm shouldn't have bowed you. down then Listen, at the end of the day, you're going to have to get down. Understand that. No. It might not be now. It might not be. The Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he Jesus Christ is Lord, not the black man, not the white man, not the Hispanics, not the Indians. Not, no, no, Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, not you. You're going to be bowed down to Jesus Christ, okay? And you're going to be confessing that he is Lord. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I know I keep stopping it and some people hate that, but I have to do that so that YouTube don't take it down, okay? If you're not a content creator, you may not know that, but I have to do that so YouTube won't take it down, okay? Tomorrow, but just yes. remember what I said. One day, y'all will have to bow down to the children. Can I just say something? I, I, I like what you stand for. I respect no. your, your pride. Right? I don't. All right? I don't. I, I do. Okay. Thank you. I don't. Walk away. You know? And I I hope you didn't take no insult to that because I meant none. I don't feel, no, we're not insulted. It's okay. okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, it's okay. Cold. Thank you. Like what? You see? And the way he walked away, like, yeah, that. There you have it. There you have it. There That's the way the cookie crumbles, people. <laughs> you gonna crumble. Like, this is the crazy thing in the world to me. I'm sorry. It's getting me emotional because I don't like to see people treated that way. Like, because of the color of their skin. Like, you're... And then put Jesus, put God's name on it and use the Bible to... And the way the man walked away, like, you can see his, his spirit just crushed. Because nowadays, we're living in such a false state of oppression as far as, like, blacks and stuff are concerned. Now, you know, if you're, everybody, y'all just oppressed. Like, come to Jesus so you can be free, okay? Who the sun sets free is free indeed, okay? Come to Jesus in a real way so you can be free. This right here is the, is craziness to me. And I pray that this man who was humiliated, okay, 
and lied to and the word of God used against him, the written word of God used against him, um, that it doesn't draw him away from God. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. And I'm talking to the Hebrew Israelite. This is ridiculous. And then you're recording and you're laughing like, that, that mess ain't funny. It's disgusting. It's straight up disgusting. And it's a disgrace. And how dare you use the word of a loving God, okay, to do this to another human being just because his skin color is not as, as dark as yours. You you will be sitting. You don't get yourself right. You don't repent. You're going to be sitting right in damnation, okay? Eternal damnation with Caucasians, with more blacks, with Hispanics, with Asians, all, all race, all nationalities, all nations, all colors, okay? Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And that's the thing with, with lies. It's always some truth. You're using the word of God, but you are using it as a weapon. You are using it. In, in a way, and you're manipulating it, okay, in a way that totally goes against what God even stands for. What? Yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I'm, um, yeah, that that's the end of this. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. I wish I could run and just give that man a hug. Like, no, this is not how we all believe. Like, God loves you. You don't have to bow and kiss no boots of nobody. All you do is bow to Jesus, and you do it through your lifestyle. It's called worship. Worship is a lifestyle. God bless y'all.
alternative to so-called leftist minutes in Native America? Uh, you know what my last name is? I'm asking. Sanchez. Oh. But I'm asking. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. So would you be willing to apologize? Would I be willing? I want to apologize. Give me Isaiah 49 and verse 22. Huh? I'd be more than willing to apologize. We're about to see right now. I want to say something to is, you guys about it. I'm in a racial. Okay. I got five black kids, mm -hmm. I got four Puerto Rican kids. Read what you got out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, mm -hmm. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Right. They shall bow down to the, to, they shall bow to thee with their faces towards the earth. So would you be willing to bow down with your face towards the earth right now? I do that anytime. So let's go. What you think I won't? Do it. I ain't gonna get stopped, am I? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm an honest man. I'm just saying, like you know, you see, you see something like that happen. I bow down. Go ahead. Ugh. Now keep reading. Come on. And lick up the dust of thy feet. Say it again. And lick up the dust of thy feet. Now, would you be willing to kiss my boo right now? No. Exactly. That's why you wanted to sleep. That's right. That's right. I won't be willing to kiss your boo. I know. But I would be willing to shake your hand. Read, read that again. Read that again. Come on. From the top. Yep. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, uh -huh. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Uh -huh. They shall bow down with their face toward the earth. They shall bow down with their face toward the earth. Right. You did, right? But there's more to it. Read on. And lift up the dust of thy feet. And here's the thing. A lot of you say that I'm sorry and I apologize for what happened to you guys, but you guys aren't really sorry. Your spirit won't allow you to do that. Your spirit won't allow you to do that right, because of what my people, to you? Let me finish. Because yeah. of what my people have been through. Right. Kissing, kissing a boot or licking the dust up from my feet is nothing compared to the hundreds and thousands of years that my people have been enslaved here in America and they had to work for I understand that. Can, right. I, can I say something? Go ahead. I'm Irish. I understand that. Right, you know where I come from. And in I already know the story. You, you were know the story. servants, but you were never treated unfairly like us. You didn't, you guys didn't hang. You guys didn't hang from trees in Fort Myers. No, we didn't hang from trees. I, I, I understand that. We so, hang from crosses. So when, what I'm saying is this, what I'm saying is this. When you look at us as a people, a lot of people claim us. When I look at Jesus, can I finish people? my statement? Yeah. When I look at Jesus, can I finish people? my statement? Yeah. You interrupted me. So what I'm saying is, when you look at us as a people, a lot of people think what they did to us, they just got away scot free. But this entire earth, there. Let me finish. This entire earth, all the people that are non-Israelite people have to pay for what you guys have done to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? So that's when I ask you, when you tell me you're sorry, this is how I see if you're sorry. If your spirit is willing, willing to give your pride up, but you can't even do that. That's how I know you're not ashamed. I, I, I won't give my pride up because I didn't. I had to bow down and I, I understand. I had to bow and I won't do it. I understand. That, that's okay. I'm okay you, with that. But okay. one, one, listen, at the end of the day, you're going to have to give down. Understand that. It might not be now. It might not be tomorrow. But be just remember what I said. One day, y'all will have to bow down to the children. Can I right. just say something? I, I, I like what you're standing for. I respect your your pride. Right. All right? I, I do. Okay. Thank you. You know? And I I hope you didn't take no insult to that because I meant none. I don't feel, no, we're not insulted. It's okay. okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. No, it's okay. Cody. Thank you. There you have it. There you have it. That's the way the cookie crumbles, people. <laughs>